Hello and welcome to an exciting semester of Communication 101! Woo! Okay, enough silliness. My name is Matt Vanderbo, and if you're watching this video, it means you have signed up for one of my hybrid Communication 101 classes. Now, before we go any further, let's briefly discuss what a hybrid class is. Because a lot of times people just sign up for classes and they have no idea that they've enrolled in a hybrid course. Uh, and I think some people see the word hybrid and automatically think of the X-Men and they go, oh, this is great, I'm gonna take a class about comic books, communication through comics. Uh, that's not exactly the case. I don't think we'll ever talk about comic books in this class, okay? Uh, but a hybrid class is one in which you have two different learning environments. So you have classroom instruction along with online instruction. Uh, the only difference uh, with, between two, the two things is that your in-person instruction is half as much time as you would normally spend in a fully in-person class. And your online requirements will take about half the time that it would usually take to do a fully online class. So what we've done is blended the in-person stuff and the online stuff, mushed them together to make one complete class where you're only doing half of what you would normally do in each type of setting. Now I hope that makes sense. I will explain this more in the classroom, um, but this type of class really appeals to those people who want a little more flexibility in their schedule or really like the online side of things but still want that in-person classroom environment and the interaction that comes through that uh, style of teaching. So that's what a hybrid class is. Now that you know that, uh, if, if this is not something that you purposefully signed up for, then my advice to you is either embrace it or find a different class, whether that be fully online or fully in-person. Um, the last thing you wanna do is have signed up for something on accident and now you're stuck with it for the next 16 weeks or eight weeks or you know however long the class is. So now that you know, let's talk about how this class is going to operate a little bit more. You're watching this video, hopefully, before I have ever even met you in the classroom. Um, if that's not the case, then you've already seen me in person and a lot of this may be partly redundant. But uh, what I want you guys to do first is in Blackboard, you're going to see a variety of red tabs over here along the left side of the screen. Things that say stuff like announcements, syllabus schedule, faculty information, weekly assignments, stuff of that nature. What I want you to do first is click on the button that says syllabus slash, slash excuse me, schedule. Open the syllabus and read through it so you have an understanding of what's going to be required of you throughout this semester. And if you are not cool with the requirements, you, let's say you don't like the grading scale or you don't like the assignments or you know whatever, um, there are plenty of other Communication 101 teachers here at CWI. I think we have something like 10 to 15 Communication 101 instructors. And so what that means is there's pretty much an instructor for everybody and I realize that I am not the perfect teacher for every type of student. And if you think that that may be the case for you, like, uh, I don't know about this Matt dude, uh, run for the hills. There's going to be a better teacher out there for you just because we have so many of them. So I'm not the only game in town, which should come as a comfort to those of you watching the video saying, uh, no thanks. Um, but if you do decide to stay into this class, you've got a few things that are going to be required of you every week. Like I said, we've got the in-person activities and the online activities, which each comes with their own separate assignments and their own due dates. Now, everything is very, very, very clear in the schedule portion of the syllabus, so you will know exactly when everything is due, whether it be online quizzes or in-class quizzes or discussion forums or speeches or things like that. Everything is spelled out in remarkable detail on the schedule. Um, but the first thing that you need to be working on 
And like I said, hopefully you're watching this video before class actually uh, starts in the in-person stuff. There's a button over here that says weekly assignments. Now I want you to click on that button. Inside the folder, uh, inside the weekly assignments area, you're going to find a variety of folders labeled week one. I mean, that's the only thing you're going to see right now is week one. And every week, a new folder is going to populate itself. Um, so, you know, week two will come on next Sunday and then the following week, week three, and you know, you, you get it. Uh, inside each online or in each folder is going to be a video lecture which you will be required to watch and take notes on and all that and then a quiz which will typically correspond with the assigned reading material and the video lecture now all quizzes are due at 11 59 p.m. on Saturday night and let me repeat that all online quizzes are due Saturday night at 11.59 p.m. And after 11.59 p.m., oh, one minute later, at the stroke of midnight on Sunday, a new week folder pops up with new video lectures and new quizzes and stuff like that. But basically, you've got one entire week to follow along with things. There's no late work, no late quizzes, since you get an entire week to do these things. If you miss the 11.59 p.m. deadline on Saturday night, you, uh, you know, the grade takes uh, one of those. So, uh, I want you to start off this, uh, this course by going to weekly, week one, watching the video lecture. Now, it's going to be long. Uh, they're all long because they're recorded from my live classes, which are typically range from an hour and 15 minutes to two hours and 45 minutes, and those are recorded and broadcast to you here. They're long. Le okay, let me warn you about this. They are long, but you have the magical feature of a pause button in your uh, video player, so you know you only have to watch like 20 to 30 minutes at a time. If that's all that fits in your schedule, that's cool. Just make sure you get the whole thing watch before you take the quiz okay that is where we're going to stop this announcement I am going to give you much more detail when I see you guys in class it's great to meet you electronically I look forward to meeting you in person now go learn something all right adios